Hello and welcome to the Sherlock's Show. I'm Georgie Corridge Cole and joining me on the sofa today are Lou Huff, Polly Sayer and Georgina Blasky. Welcome ladies. Today I'm going to be joined by Instagram and YouTube sensation Cher Webb. She's going to be chatting us through the 10 beauty products she can't live without. Plus Lou and Polly will be showing you a high street fashion haul with some of our favourite pieces right now. But first, on the subject of fashion, it is New York Fashion Week. How did that happen? So quickly. Yeah. Already. Um, but it's been a good one. Really, hasn't really it? good. A great kind of kick start to the season, although it's obviously spring, summer, 20. So I feel like just as everyone's preparing mm, for winter, I know. it's suddenly summer again. You get really excited mm. about all those, those pieces. I know. And actually with the, with the nice weather now, I'm like, oh, all that Zimmerman, you know, yeah. it's yeah. quite... It feels quite cruel, doesn't it? Does, it? it does. Yeah. Um, but it's been a really good one. There's been yeah. lots of talk in the Sherlock's office about all the shows that we've mm. loved. And we've picked a few of our favourites. Yeah, we? number one, I think, has to be DeVoe. And I think yeah. it's the one that everyone is talking about. And probably not, I think, a brand that everyone would be as familiar with before. Mm. It's quite new. It's quite new. Um, I think they start, it originally started as a menswear brand. And then... Um, Photographer Tommy Ton came on in February 2018 um, and joined as the creative director and has kind of created the most amazing women's wear collection. And for people that don't know who Tommy Ton is, he's the sort of original street style fashion photographer, yeah. isn't he? So he's sort of bought all that experience and that knowledge yeah. and everything he's seen and applied it yeah. to the collections. And I think what was so amazing about it is it is quite a sort of modern, mim minimal, kind of relaxed, uniform style fashion. But the mo I say models, it was kind of women of all shapes, sizes, races. Um, so cool. Yeah. And they just came on dancing, smiling, mm. moving. There was no sort of strutting. And it had such an amazing energy. They had yeah. a live band playing. It feels like in so many ways, it's sort of shaken up completely your yeah. traditional view of what a runway show looks yeah. like. Yeah. And it was, I think, 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning and everyone, um, when I was watching on stories, everyone was like, this has cheered me up yeah. so much. And that's what fashion yeah. should be. It's, so, it's yeah. so nice to see. Yeah, really refreshing. Very, very the row. Yes. Mm. Um, Androgen, so of the moment. Yeah. yeah. And so uniform. I think so often you see the step change in a collection, don't you? They're kind of sending down day wear and then you yeah. see it change into florals and then it goes into evening. And mm. this, just every everything just... It was yeah. so beautifully tied together, wasn't and it? And it looked yeah. so easy and so comfortable yeah. and, yeah. you know, just made you think, oh, I just want to wear all those pieces. Yeah, totally yeah. So it was really, yeah. really amazing. Georgina, did it appeal to you? Yeah, it did. I really liked seeing kind of a coat on a man then worn by a woman. Mm. It, mm. And it, it just worked really well on mm. both. Yeah. Mm. So, and it felt like a real celebration of clothes. I just don't understand why, like you were saying about models strutting down, looking moody, when actually most of us get dressed in the morning to make ourselves feel better mm. and to kind of... Use clothes to kind of uplift mm. your mood. Yeah, it was very unintimidating, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Really relatable. Yeah. Well. yeah. Uh, so, other favourites were self portrait. Mm. Yes, amazing. That was a big yeah. favourite of mine. I yeah. Say. yeah. And again, just super wearable. Obviously, everyone everyone knows the, the collection and the brand, but I guess it was kind of their traditional collection taken to another level. Yeah. Amazing yeah. square necklines, which are also yeah, really everywhere. Those. Big puffy sleeves. Mm. Um, and lots of cotton. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, we so think of self-portrait and all those event dresses don't we you know the i forget the one it begins with 80 doesn't it the uh, the original oh azalea is it azalea like yeah. I mean, the like original one with the spaghetti straps that came in every color yeah. mm. that's the sort of archetypal view that everyone has of self-portrait mm. but it's gone down quite a sort of kalita yeah route with lots mm. of cottons and quite flowy dresses yeah. Yeah. and they clever. Some really cool little um play suits as well didn't they yeah some, like, belted yes. ones that are super Quite yeah, really wearing those but then like also somewhere. some cool like leather kind of give it a bit of a tougher edge as well. Um, a lot of like car keys and then bright fuchsias mm. and amazing cornflower blue. Yeah, that yeah, blue yeah. Was really so good. Amazing, wasn't it? Love yeah. the blue and the camel. But you could yeah. still tell it was self-portrait, which Completely. I really liked, yes. and I loved how they had made a big shift, but. It still stay true to the brand. So yeah. for people who still love it, there's it's all still there for them. It's just yes. might get some other. Yeah. Because it's so it's almost bored. dangerous to be, you know, to be so hot, isn't it? S you know, such big news. I think I think really credit to him that he's mm -hmm. he's carried it through and evolved it, but kept that kind of signature. Yeah. Um, look. Yeah. Anyway, our our final favourite we had to pick three was Zimmerman, yeah. wasn't it, Polly? Amazing. I mean, in complete contrast to Devo, it's 
totally maximal, amazing prints, big sleeves as always, just so amazing. And it's like pure summer, isn't it, really, yeah. Zimmerman? So, yeah, again, it's kind of like very like typical Zimmerman, like, you know, the same kind of patterns and whatever you'd expect, but just still so great oh. and like... Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Felt a bit less beachy, I think. Mm. Felt a yeah. bit more wearable. Yeah. For, you know, I've always thought of it as a real barefoot in the sand kind mm. of um, Coachella y. Yeah. Not mm. that's barefoot in the sand, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of brand, but it felt a bit more grown up, maybe yeah. a bit, you know. There's like applique lace long oh. dresses oh, gosh, on the yeah. white ones. So good. Absolutely amazing. And then there's incredible necklaces. Just like a real like mm. cult female tribe, it was amazing. And the yeah. red florals, I'm I'm loving your top today, Georgina. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, good old Zara. Good old Zara. <laughs> good old Zara. Well, anyway, yeah. New York Fashion Week. Go to Vogue. Check out the shows. Um, big thumbs up from us. There'll be lots more Fashion Week chats to come. London is next. London is next. Yep. Then we've got Milan. Then, then Paris. Finally, Paris. Uh, so anyway, lots more to come. But. It's actually autumn winter that we're going into. Um, you're wearing Zara. Lou and I are wearing Zara. And I think our <laughs> guest nearly wore this jacket as well. Yeah. So I said, we're either doing something really right or really wrong. I know. And last week, Charlotte <laughs> and I were wearing exactly the same outfit. So I was like, OK, I'm going to have to change. And then today, George and I just thought we'd embrace it. So yeah, we're rocking the same <laughs> So look. here we are. You've got us both. <laughs> Clearly, we think it's a good jacket. Yeah. Um, Zara, great stuff at the moment. Always. So good. Always. I mean, so good. Um, Lou, I'm going to start with you. I mean, white blazers. Yeah. Uh, what are you buying now? I mean, we're talking about this. Anna Bromelo has just um, written her latest feature for us on how she's transitioning from spring, summer into autumn, winter. Yeah. Um, and the kind of things that she's starting to buy. Yeah. White blazers aside, what's on your list? Yeah, so she had um, like very fine merino roll neck knits, which I think are a really good piece to be wearing under your um, summer dresses. You know, anything that you've got that's a bit floaty, even with skirts. So you can sort of, you've got that transition, but it's not a big, thick jumper. I'm obviously into those. Um, for me, the main thing is a boot. That is always, at this time of year, the thing I'm trying to tick off my list because I think that transition in your footwear is so key. Like Polly and I were talking, like mm. I always wear more of a crop jean, but often having your ankle on show when it gets colder is tricky. So I want to wear a boot, maybe not a black boot. I've always had my eye on the Saint Laurent. I think it's the West or the Lucas. Um, that like suede mm. Chelsea boots got a bit of a heel. They're a cool like rock and roll boot. Yeah. So the boots, think, boots, boots, boots. Yeah. Yeah. Georgina, roll neck. How do you feel? So Anna Bromlow, yeah, she was she was big on her. They're very sort of fine knit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Roll necks, aren't they? Are you a fan? Well, I love them on other people, and every time I try them on, Me I too. just feel like this I can manage because it's loose. Anything else, I'm just like, oh god, I need it. I need it off. <laughs> I need it tight. Um, so I think really what I'm after is, as I'm gazing down at Polly's gorgeous shoes, um, a kind of give us a wave. Shoe. Give us a wave. Um, so um, yeah, I I think that's what I've definitely got on my list next. A shoe. Yeah, a good shoe. I feel yeah. like I'm not quite ready. Yeah, I mean, there are some amazing, I'm quite excited about the big puffer coats that I love a big, mm. like wrap me in a duvet, I yeah. feel the cold, yeah. kind of can't wait, but I'm, I'm not there, not there yet. yet. So no. I think, you know, shoes are the focus, aren't they? Yeah. Polly is sporting I mean, a new pair of Gucci loafers. Yeah, so these were kind of my transitional investments. I thought I needed something that wasn't a sandal, not a boot, so I went for these. But equally, wearing a pair of faux leather trousers, which I think, like obviously they come around year on year and I've had a pair of like quite tight ones before but I think for this time of year while it's still fairly warm mm. you don't want to be wearing like a really tight pair so these are kind of like looser a bit more tapered so that's kind of my personal choice this time mm. of year. Well I'm with you I think the leather trouser the the loose fit so not the skinny leather trouser is the thing mm. to get so your hands on this season and um, we've got some quite good ones coming up from H&M. If you can get your hands on them, they're selling out quickly. Mm. Um, right, finally, apparently, John Lewis is seeing a bit of a spike in sales between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m. Um, bedtime browsing is becoming a bit of a thing. Uh, apparently, women are more guilty of this than men. Guilty? I don't know. Maybe we've just got so much to do. It's the only time we can get it done. Um, Georgina. Well, apparently duvet covers are the most popular item. <laughs> Funny. What, lying, lying in bed in at midnight bedding. thinking, I'm yeah. just satisfied with this cover. <laughs> I'm going to buy get one myself right a new duvet cover. Um, anyway, can you relate to this? Um, what are your I, shopping habits? Are you shopping online uh, after midnight? Um, I, I'm definitely browsing occasionally. So things will come along during the day and I'll think, oh, I'll go and check that out later. So I might browse. 
but I won't purchase if I've missed that next day delivery cut off. Mm -hmm. I probably would leave it till the next day and just sleep on it. Okay, but you're not you're not waking up in the night panicking. All those things you got to do <laughs> shopping. I think maybe maybe that's what you I'm know. It's, maybe it's the insomniac that's yeah. doing it. Yeah. I'm more likely to be doing the Cardo panic buy at <laughs> about eleven o'clock at night than a John Lewis. Yes, shop. quickly while you can still change your slot. Yeah, we can still yeah. change your, but you know, yeah, yeah. Just change your your order. list. Edit your um, order. Yeah. Edit your order. Thank you, uh, Lou. Are you a nighttime shopper? No, definitely not. Mm. I would. I mean, I'm not the best sleeper anyway. So I feel like if I was suddenly on my phone browsing, I just probably wouldn't go to sleep because no. I would get so caught up in that um I definitely have my best thoughts at night when I'm in bed I'll suddenly be like hey that's a good idea well, that's a good idea um but no no to the shopping I couldn't get I, I'm really strict but I don't look at my phone once I'm in bed oh, yeah. I turn it off so yeah good idea yeah probably smart yeah I'm the same I'm kind of like you know I'll look at my phone before I go to sleep but I think it's time to, to put it away and I'm also not much of an impulse buyer I like to really mull over my my purchases so Doing it in the middle of the night is very alien to me. Yeah, slash dangerous. Yeah. Um, well, actually, I have to confess that last night I got into bed. I had so much admin to do. Children have gone back to school. The emails from school are, like, coming in there by the dozen at the moment. And I was like, shit, shit, shit. And then I promised my daughter I'd order her a reading night. They're sharing a room at the moment. And so I got into bed last night. I don't think it was mid. I think it was 11.30. Amazon makes it very possible mm. to shop online after midnight, I would say. Yeah, it's so yeah quick. that's true. Anyway, uh, that's all we've got time for, but don't go away because next up, Polly and Lou are going to be showing you those leather trousers. They're going to be having a look at the best autumn fashion at H&M right now. Hi, I'm Lou Huff. I'm Head of Fashion and Creative at Sherlux, and today I'm going to talk you through some of my favourite and key pieces within my wardrobe. Number one would be a very classic boyfriend shirt. When I'm getting ready, I wanna wear pieces that make me feel good. They enhance my style, they don't take over my look. I couldn't talk about my wardrobe favorites without talking about this. So any opportunity I have to really dress up, I would wear this. The absolute basic essential to my wardrobe would be denim. I counted, I've got 25 pairs. This, just with t-shirt and jeans, pair of boots, my bag good to go. Like the rest of my style, I tend to keep my accessories quite minimal, um, but if I was going for a jazz accessory, I've got this hair clip, which is probably so on me, but um, I just think it adds a little something to a look. On days when you've got nothing to wear and you want to wear, wear something pretty boring, these are my go-to. A new season often calls for a wardrobe update and from plaid double-breasted to dark florals, H&M is certainly preparing us for the new season. So we thought we'd have a look at some of our favourite pieces to kickstart September. Yeah, Polly, what we have do. we got here? So first up we've got this little sort of leopard print dress which has got some amazing puffy sleeves. Feels a bit rotate I think. This, it does, it? it does. And really I love cute. that it's a bit shorter. Is that Obviously that would be yeah. amazing as a maxi but obviously you've still got your summer tan. Yeah. Why not show your legs off? Totally. Yeah, and it's got a really flashing sort of skater skirt. It's not too yeah. kind of clingy or anything. It's just, yeah, really pretty, I think. Really nice. And actually, I think that, that would look really nice with like a black cardigan, but mm. also like a blazer if you want to smarten it up as well. Yeah, definitely. Really cool. Love the high neck as well. I love cool. that. I, I, I just think that is really cool. It's so light and yeah. sort of waf wafty. Exactly. Yeah. It's and really it's cool. also, it's cool. kind of a little bit of an A-line at the bottom as well. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit of a skater skirt. It's great. Yeah. Love that. Love cool. that. Cool. So next up, we've got a little... Black top, which has got like a drapey neckline there. And yeah, so it's kind of a good, I guess, for work maybe this would be a yes. good one, but also for like, a pair of jeans and boots on a night out. Yeah, and we're often asked actually about those pieces you can transition from work onto a night mm. out, and I think this is the perfect piece. Yeah. Add a bit more jewellery, scrape your hair up, I think that's yeah. perfect. Yeah, really cool. Also comes in, I think, in a cream. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I love that. Yeah, really, really, very well. handy piece to have. Indeed, yeah. And um, Next we have this little floral dress, which has got kind of little ruffly sleeve there and a tie neckline. And when I tried this on, it kind of reminded me a bit 
vampire's wife-ish. I know cool. it always doesn't look like it, but kind of felt like it when it was on. So yeah. it's a nice high street dupe, I think. Yeah, amazing. And that one is 29.99. So mm. yeah, that is a seriously, seriously good yeah. price. And amazing, again, like winter weddings. Not that it's, it's not really winter yet, but you know, people have still got their occasions coming through now. So I think this is a really good piece. It's yeah. not too dark. Um, and you're still wearing some floral and lights. So kind of and perfect. so nice with the long boot underneath. Yeah. Because it's not too long, is it? So I love it when you can see that yeah. long boot. There's actually so many of those like slouchy knee-high boots coming through at the moment. Yeah. So that's that's a perfect, perfect yes. look. Yes, yeah, I love that. Okay, next we have oh, probably my favourite in the collection. We're the talking about leather these. trousers. <laughs> yes, they're so amazing. these are actually real. These are one nine 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 nine. H and M also do have some amazing faux leather options as well. Yeah, they do. But the shape on these. Yeah, they're just so perfectly straight. Like yeah. you know, they don't cling in any areas, and they're just. Oh my god, I just love them. And they fit really nice around the waist as well. So Super soft. soft. And like 200 quid obviously is more pricey for H&M, yeah. but for a pair of real leather trousers. And that fine. really is a, like an autumn wardrobe staple, mm. isn't it? There's yeah. kind of everything here you could wear that with. Um, I just think so good. You love a leather trousers, don't you, Georgie? I do, and I was saying earlier, I mean, I think this is the shape to go for yeah. this season. Mm. And so often there's so many joins in high street leather, but there's just that one yeah. which is... Actually, it's, it's quite cool. Really cool. Yeah, it's actually quite cool. And yeah. the, the designer ones are so expensive. Mm, yeah. So Perfect. I it's think they are. Get, get a pair of those if you can. Yes. Yeah, sizing's difficult, but yeah. head, head in somewhere if you can. Yes, definitely. Cool. Then we've got a couple of layers. Yeah, so we've got a cardigan. I, mean, I love a cardigan, yeah, but this one is great. Now. So this has got a lovely drop shoulder, so it's that nice slouchy feel. Yeah. Makes it feel a bit cooler than a traditional sort of cardigan I guess yeah and also a little bit cropped as well which mm. I think is so so nice and it's oversized yeah really easy to wear over dresses with your jeans love it yeah roll up the sleeves it's really nice yeah good color perfect Ooh. and then we've got another cardigan but this time a long line Ooh, that looks cozy one. very cozy cool with the belt I think yeah definitely yeah. belted I think yeah nip you and give you a bit more shape yeah We're amazing with like there's leather trousers mm -hmm. a white t-shirt your shoes like what a good awesome look yeah Perfect. Cool. And then we have a little polka dot top, which has got a cool sort of square neckline, but yeah. equally you could wear it off the shoulder if you're going out, but same kind of upwards like that. And again, nice little sleeves. Yeah. Very yeah. reformation this, I think, yeah. as well. This one, I feel like this is a really good price as well. But we can never see them on here. Um, I'm going to go with like $24.99, yeah. something like that. Um, but yeah, really, really easy. And again, that, I think that's quite seasonless, actually. Yeah, totally. You can wear that with a pair of like high-waisted, yeah. kind of blue jeans, maybe a blazer over the top. And cool. yeah, really nice. nice. Looks expensive, I think. Yeah, yeah really expensive. Yeah, definitely does. Quite yeah. self-portrait too, but yeah. Jacquemus, like there's like nods to lots of... Exactly. And I think the shoulder up, down, I think that's nice mm, to have that really flexibility. Cool. I like yeah, that a lot. Definitely. Good kind of night out top. And then we've got this amazing kind of leather jacket, oh, but it's more this. like a shirt jacket kind of vibe. Yeah. So it feels a bit... Buffy, circa 90s. Yeah, you said that when you tried like, I, it on. I love that about this jacket. It's so cool. And it, this is faux leather, isn't it? Yes, so, this one is. But it still feels really soft. Yeah, and do you know what? I love a leather shirt going mm. into autumn. I think that's definitely a trend I'm going to be going to be rocking. Um, again, with like camo trousers or a tailored trouser, I think yeah. so cool. Super cool. I love the belted aspect as well. If you want to cinch in your yeah. waist, but equally you I, work I think we need to do a sort of style debunk something yes. on leather shirt. Yeah. It, it feels quite intimidating. I know. It and it looks quite intimidating like that. So I think we need a bit of a masterclass okay it's yeah. coming it's watch the space yeah um, and then we've got a classic blazer yeah i mean we can do an all, kind of a pre-autumn haul without a sort of a check yeah, blazer of course but this is a really good one it kind of double breasted vibe i love a double breasted blazer yeah. checks are really cool this will go nice with it like a white t-shirt yeah. some nice jeans boots yeah just kind of something you can wear with perfect for the anything. office as well again that's a question yeah. where people are always asking us what what should they should be buying for autumn going to work and that is just that's you know a no-brainer isn't it yeah definitely cool and then we have this i mean great oh, color i love this so much i'm like, I not know. Really for color but th there's something about like the magpie me it's really drawn yeah, to this yeah i mean I'd i never love the that. shape as well yeah the shape is great such an unusual color that i would never normally go for but yeah. just love that love the buttons and actually it feels really expensive yes. like it's got a really nice thick well, I think actually it's quite a high percentage of, yeah. of wool in there. But yeah, it's just super cool. And you know, I don't normally like pink and black as a kind of colour combination, but I think that actually goes really, really yeah. well. It's more, obviously more of a fuchsia or purple. I think that looks mm. really cool, a bit striking, a bit different actually. Yeah, I love that. It's great. And next. finally, 
we have just about, but this is feels a bit of a, a sign of jeep, very, isn't it? Very, very Velma on this yeah. one. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got kind of a little tie at the front there, stretchy at the back, and it's definitely a waist belt, one for yeah. sort of cinching in um, any kind of, yeah, maybe like that cardigan Completely. or something. And it's amazing how just a belt like this can really transform a look. Yeah. Like that over that would look so good. So nice. Um, the dress that Kate Middleton was wearing on yes, the Yes, I was going to say that, that With her belt. She looks sensational. It looks so cool. Yeah. So, yeah, great. Yeah, worth investing in a belt. Any favourites? Oh, I think it has to be the leather trousers, but yeah. equally the white cardigan, just something you can wear really easily. And yeah. super stylish and cool. Uh, great picks. Um, as usual, everything will be linked in the show notes below. Don't go away, because after the break, Georgie will be chatting to pro makeup artist Cher Webb about her top 10 beauty essentials. Hello, and welcome to the pink house. Come on in, let me show you around. Now, over 200,000 Instagram followers, can't be wrong, Cher Webb <laughs> really is one of the best beauty influencers out there right now. And I'm thrilled to be talking to her today on the show about your 10 makeup essentials My right faves. now. It was so hard to collect these 10 because there's so many products that I love and use every day. What I've realised is a lot of them are skincare based. Well, yes, I said makeup, but actually they're skincare. Anyway, welcome. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. How it's lovely so nice to, to have meet you. you. How <laughs> lovely to have you. A bit of a loving going on here. <laughs> Um, I have to say, I saw on Instagram yesterday. Yes. Uh, yeah. You know, there's a there's a bit of bit of surplus um, going on. product going on. So I'm impressed that you whittled it down to ten. Yeah, I found these for the uh, the clear out. Th there's a big clear out going on in Cher's studio at home, and it's my a, God, I've never seen so much makeup. If you know anyone that can come and help me organise it, I'd gladly well, I take do. them on board. <laughs> you need this girl can organise. She was on the show last week. She was amazing. I found her totally inspiring. She had all these stackable um, products from Amazon. Okay, I need her you number. Need to get, you need to get, 100%. we'll introduce you. Okay, so we've got 10 products here, 10 of your yes. favorites. Um, let's start with Vita Liberata's Body, body blur. blur. Now tell me, I've never used this, but I think you would of love this. Rate it. Do you know, especially for blondes, and if you're quite fair, I don't really tan that well. And this, you put on with a mitt, and it's quite thick and moussey, and it doesn't transfer. And you can get a really even tan with it, and the back of your legs never look kind of patchy throughout the day. It's just a winning product. I love it. And is it a self tan, or is it an instant? It's an instant, so okay. like a quick disco tan. Okay, and you were saying before we went on that. You could literally get in the shower with this and it will stay on. Yeah, so if you're on holiday and you get into the shower and you don't like shower gel your legs, because let's face it, you kind of do the bits that you need to really, really wash. If you don't do your legs and you don't towel dry your legs, you can actually get away with like maybe two days of the tan. Really? It does kind of just sit and it doesn't go streaky with the water running through it. It's definitely waterproof. I mean, it's great. It's, it's nice. so invisible and the texture is really moisturizing on the skin. I love Vita Liberata, the whole range. Um, but that's definitely my favourite. That's really nice. Yeah. And is it just one colour? This is the, yeah, the medium. Oh, mousse, this is latte. latte yeah. Okay, so different so ones. For you, I think there's maybe three different shades, but okay. that's great for you. And Good tip. For blonde. Well, you're not alone. Lots of people rate that, don't they? Yes, uh, um, Next, I mean, this is, you are not the only one who has this. Do you love this? In their this? top 10, love, 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 love. Yeah, the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This will take off everything from waterproof mascaras, waterproof lipsticks, and I love the fact that you can buy this little travel one 
And when I go away, I scoop out from the biggie into the small one, nice. plastic and all of that, and nice. just, yeah, and take that with me. But I love the fact that you get that cleanse, but deep cleanse, and there's no kind of like tightness to the skin. Yeah. We haven't talked about this for a while. We, we went through a period of talking about this all the time. I think people were like, yeah, we get it. You like, yeah, you yeah. like the Elemis Balm. But it is that good, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, just... it's like an iconic Elemis product. Yeah. The rose one's really nice as well. Yeah, the really rose nice. one. And the smell and oh, heaven, Gorgeous. heaven. Okay, next we've got another real icon, Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair. I have to confess, I've never used this. Okay, so that's awful, isn't it? From today, I think you. I'll actually give you my one. <laughs> you should definitely use it because you know what? It's like it's magic in a bottle. I use this on my hands as well. Um, it helps to, like the texture is so, so sheer. I'll pop some on my hand here. Uh, and what actually is it? Is this a serum? It's a serum. It's meant to be for nighttime, but I actually use it day and on all my clients as well. It's a really good base for makeup. It plumps the skin, it takes down redness, but it leaves the most amazing glow. It's just, yeah, it seeps into the skin really quickly and it's not greasy. It's just, there's something in it which is definitely brightening for the skin as well. So you put this on before a moisturiser? On clean night. skin, so on after clean cleansing. Skin. So cleanse this, moisturiser, boom. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, it is, again, it's one of those products that comes up time and, and time, time and time yeah. again. And <sighs> I'm not saying it's cheap, but it's 58 pounds. It's not 158 pounds. Yeah, it's not as high end as some. Um, and, you know, I'd love to know how many bottles of these they sell. Let us know, Estee Lauder, yeah, if anyone's no, yeah, watching. I'd be, I'd be intrigued. Now, another one. This is another, like, real yes. favourite, isn't it? This comes up all the time. Who would think that Armani was I mean, so Do you know, I think every makeup artist uses it. And I worked for MAC for so many years, but we all secretly had this in our kit as well. Um, this lasts forever on the skin. It does create that gorgeous glow. The most common question on Instagram that I get is, how can I get that gorgeous glow that lasts? And it's that. That would be something. It doesn't look glowy though, does it? I the bottle's here, quite sorry. matte, which is quite deceiving really, because inside when you actually apply it, pop some mm. on, it is an instant radiant finish. And it looks quite sheer, but it's you do. Runny. It's quite runny, very hydrating. But, but you, know, you do get quite good coverage with it. It's that kind of mm, nice hybrid. That. Yeah, that's a really good colour for you. I think we've got the same. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say this is all working very nicely. <laughs> yeah, that's um, perfect one. You see, look it's how nice lovely. That looks. It's very sheer, isn't it's it? It's quite glassy as well, and it's like you know this whole glowy skin trend is, is not going anywhere, and I think that's a classic that's always going to keep coming back year after year. Lovely, love that. Beautiful. Well, well, yeah. I mean, that is another one that always comes out. It's not cheap. Luminous silk. Forty-two pounds. It is silky, isn't it? So this, yeah, worth the money. Worth the money, hundred percent. Okay, right. Next up, we have got Moisture Surge Sheer Tint Clinique. I've not heard of this one. Right, this has been out maybe six months. It's quite a new product okay. to the Moisture Surge range. And what I love about this is it's like a skincare product, but you have got a bit of coverage going on as well. Really hydrating, really great oh, if you want that hydrating. kind of like effortless beauty look where your skin just looks radiant, like you throw nothing on, it just looks healthy. Because if you look at the two separately. One, so do you wear this? I wear this all the time. Are you wearing it now? I'm actually wearing Luminous Silk. Are you? Because yeah. your skin's very glowy. Oh, is it? Very Thank glowy. You. Um, okay, so you can see the difference here. So here we've got the Armani Luminous Silk. Here we've got the Sheer Tint Clinique. Yeah. Um, so this is glowy, this is a bit more coverage. Yeah, a bit more coverage on this one. This looks like real, real skin. So you'd say this is more of a BB cream, would you? BB, CC, that kind of vibe, tinted moisturiser. I wouldn't ask you the difference between BB and CC right now. I'm so glad you said that. Uh, because we'll be here till Christmas. Okay, so next, oh, I'm excited about this one. So oh, next, yes. Next, this is the Unlimited Mascara L'Oreal 10.99. It's a drugstore fave, okay. and you know sometimes what you can actually do? get it. You can get it for like seven ninety nine sometimes. Look at this bendy wand. So you take it out and then you bend it, and then that way you can get all those little inner and outer lashes. So you never miss all these little ones that make the massive difference in creating a really full lash. It's and even right. doing your bottom lashes, you know, how you always kind of use a big brush. That bend makes it just unique. And also the formula, I've got this on today, really, really grabs the lashes and they stay up all day. Okay, for 10 so like lashes. Yeah, honestly, Stop. with this, curl your lashes first, whack a bit of that on, 10.99, you can't go wrong. I mean, I wish you could close up on Cher's <laughs> lashes right now. They are 
Oh, I do curl them for ages. I get them tinted as well. But I want to try um, LVL, but I'm too scared to get them done in case they go too long. far back. They're, I mean, they'd almost get in the way. They're so try, long. Try that. Well, I need to. <laughs> I, clearly, I need to. Um, and any other tips for putting on mascara well without it clogging, getting stuck on the bottom? So do one eye, do the other, and then build up. But make sure you use the end of the wand. People will tend to use the middle of the wand and just keep going. The end is at a point for a reason. It's to get the roots dark. Okay. Yeah. All right, need to try that. Um, okay, next, we'll jump. What, let's not jump. I'm going to switch the order. I'm going to get in trouble for this. I'm going to go on to curlers next. Yes. Because uh, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Really, we should have done curlers before mascara. Never mind. Right, these are Surratt yes. Nash curlers, they £32. Are, pounds. Basically, they are um, award-winning because they grab every single lash. As a makeup artist, things like your tools, your brushes make all the difference. And you can tell when someone has or hasn't curled their lashes, I think. So they make all the difference. I just get so worried. I mean, I know it's nothing new. I just get so worried. If I'm you're rushing in the out. morning, I know. But if you just kind of, I see people on the train do it. I'm like, yes, girl. Literally really? pumping away. Every yeah. time, do you always curl your lashes? I try to. Do and you? I feel like they, they kind of slump a little bit. I know. If I don't. Well, makeup artists, they do. So right. And is it worth spending money on a curler? Is there really a difference? If you use curlers already, if you're a first time user, maybe try something a bit cheaper. Just okay. to get used to it and see how you like it. But yeah, I think so. They sell them in Liberties. I love them. Okay. All right. Uh, NARS, Natalie. It's cool. I think this is a bit of you, this one. Well, I love a NARS lip. I think they do really, you know, they're like Bobby Brown NARS, aren't they? They do such wearable, natural colours. Look at that. It's pretty natural. Can we hold it right? Yeah. I'm going to get others so we can get told off. Can you see it? Is that all right? Yes, I'm getting on. Peachy, uh, It's nude. really nice, isn't it? It's actually really lovely dotted on the cheeks as well. So if you're in a rush, use your lipstick a little bit on the, on the face as well. It's just fresh. It doesn't like wash you out. Some neutrals. Pretty. It's a bit can, pink. Bit, yeah, a bit pink, a bit peach. Very flattering. And it's a really good universal nude. And they're quite moisturising, um, not nudes, NARS lipsticks, aren't they? They are, yeah. I feel like they don't dry, dry out your lips as much. That's a semi-matte, I'd say. It's not okay. too matte. Uh, we've got Lip Line Corrector from QMS. Yes. Now, this is an investment. Um, it's basically something I use around my lip line and on the under eye area, filled, packed with hyaluronic acid. And I use it on my clients to help frame lipsticks so that they don't end up creeping up the face. So this is a short-term fix thing? It, Long-term. It's £150, that one. So it's... Ooh. I know. Okay. But you don't. You need a pea size amount. So whatever you use around your lips, whatever's left on your fingertips, you can just use around your eyes, around your smile lines, things like that. So it's not like oh, we're just going to fill in the lines so nothing Pump bleeds? Out. No, it's like you kind of do it over time. Okay. Yeah. And you think this really From does QMS, work? QMS, that's my favourite product, okay. yeah. Okay, QMS is a good brand. It's great, yeah. Everything's filled with collagen and um, it's like a Medi cosmetics brand. Um, but that also really moisturises the lips. I think as we go into winter, balms just don't always cut the mustard. They sort of sit on top of the lips. This is absorbed and the surface of the lip, you don't get chapping. You know, your lipsticks don't start to feather. So if you're neurotic about lip lines. Yeah. Go for that one. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, two left, Givenchy Healthy Glow Powder. Yeah, this is one of my if my top three products of all time because this gives you the appearance that you've had like maybe five hours more sleep than you have. Oh, hello. Any hangover mornings, anything like that, lack of sleep, put a bit of this on. It doesn't look like a bronzer. It just looks like healthiness. And um, what is it? What's it's, in it that, that makes it do that? Well, it's a bronzer without glitter. So if you use a bronzer that's got all the shimmer, you're going to look more and more made up the more you apply. But that, because it's matte, it's like you've gone to a desert and you've been hit by the sun in a really natural way. It's healthy looking. It's like you've taken the dog. Do you know? A walk. I know what you mean. Not seeing it's the glitter, flat, which sounds weird. Because why would that look radiant? But it actually does because it doesn't look like you've put something on the skin. It's flat, but it's not like super matte matte. I've got loads of powder on. No, it's really silky. It's like it a is, sort of cream it? matte. Yeah, it's just. It, I love that they do shades from naught, I think, to eight. There's loads of different shades of bronzer as well. Okay. So depending on your skin tone, yeah. I don't but, think it would wash as a go-to for for bronzer. Clearly, I need to. Right, final product. <laughs> Fragrance. Yes. So this is the molecule. I never know how you say it. The eccentric. Eccentric. One. Eccentric. Yeah. eccentric. Anyway. Molecule fragrances. These are the ones that adapt to the individual. To your smell, yeah. I follow someone down the road to find out what they're wearing. They, I now get followed and asked by taxi drivers what, what fragrance it is. So I have to tell you that Laura <laughs> in our team, she wears number two. And I, I love follow, number two. She goes in the lift and I'm like, oh, you're wearing it, you're wearing it. It's so good, but it smells so different on everybody. It's it clever, does. I wear it with, I, don't, I never wear it on its own. I wear a fragrance like 
I don't know, a Byredo one, and then put that one on top. Mm -hmm. You smell lovely, by the way. Well, I am, yeah, well, thanks. It, yeah. I, I am wearing... <laughs> You're like, well... I am wearing Creed, <laughs> Aventus for her. That would look um, lovely. That would be nice layered the best. with that. Lovely, oh, yeah, really isn't lovely. it nice? Yeah, and it stays on your clothes, it stays on your mm. hair. Stays mm. on your Their fragrances are really good, they, really they do good. do a travel Check size as well. And then this is number one. I also rate, really rate number two. Yeah, Amazing. I love number two as well. Amazing. <gasps> Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Had a great time. What a great range of products. You're going to cost me a lot of money. Um, anyway, thank you so much. Thank you much. so much for having me. Yeah, I think I could have sat here all day. Anyway, do follow Cher. She's at Cherweb Makeup on Instagram and Cherweb Makeup on YouTube. Uh, on Thursday, Olivia will be back with our favourite fashion segment, Star Watch. Plus, we'll be doing a live cooking demo, and trust me, you won't want to miss it. In the meantime, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. Bye bye.